All right, um, I'm having to make videos now before I ship these things out because uh, I've been having some horrible buyers lately just destroy my things and then want a refund and not so much with the printers, but I'm doing it with everything now. Uh, it's got this HP OfficeJet 7500A wide format. Um, it's in great shape. Uh, go ahead and fire it up. It's got the little articulating display there. Probably not going to be able to see the readout at all because of the brightness, but uh, it's firing up and it's got the main paper tray. Put some bigger sheets in there. It's wide format, so it does. I don't have all the specs at hand, but at hand, but um, it's a great office jet. There's a lot of office jets that have come out that were very substandard, and um, this one is rock solid. And I checked it really good, gave it a good cleaning. It's got a little surface scratching, but which I usually have time to get out, but not today. So um, it's in good shape. Uh, it's gonna ship with the wall wart. Um, and it takes a while to boot up. This isn't for anything special. Okay, so I'm at the main menu. Still booting up a little bit. I'm going to go to settings. Scroll down to reports. I, I can't see this. I just know where they're at. So uh, we're going to print a status report. And it's going to show that... The black ink is almost empty. Um, the other ink should show it's full. But the black ink isn't empty. I refilled it. Uh, not good to have it on this wobbly TV tray. This is going to a lady in South Carolina. Her initials are... What is it? SC. Same initials as the state. So, yeah, this thing always performs. It uses 920 ink cartridges. With the print head. And like I said, it should show... Yeah. It's showing inks full the yellow one was I just put in yesterday the black it shows it's empty but I topped it off and when I top it off it's with uh, HP inks uh, now I do that see this is the uses the come on now This one, it's got the uh, printheads. Now, see, these are easy to refill if you have the ink. You get a syringe or a dropper, and you just drop it on there, drop by drop. And uh, when it really slows down as far as the absorption, you'll see it absorb the drops that you put on there. First, it'll be quickly, and then at the very end, it'll it'll slow down a bunch <laughs> that's when you stop putting the drops on and then you uh, turn it over uh, and put it on a counter somewhere a piece of paper where it's not going to do any damage just let it set for five minutes because you might get a couple drips of ink that come out and you put it back in and uh, let it go uh, it'll fire up uh, and these print heads what I like too you take these ink cartridges out, and to take the print head out, you just lift that gray lever and lift it all the way out. Clean it if you need it. I already cleaned it. Um, so we got that. Uh, I aligned the print heads already. I'm not going to do that again. Uh, I don't want to waste ink printing a quality report. This shows the page count at 6,626. Um, 
So, hoping the lady in South Carolina gets a lot of good use. Uh, I'm doing this. I'm going to uh, probably make a video or, or do, post some photos of the packaging because, like I said, eBay, uh, I don't know what, what to do <laughs> because they're allowing buyers, like crazy buyers, they'll buy something, destroy it, and ship it back and say it didn't work. It's, it's, it seems like it's almost for like a game. Uh, I I just and, and then eBay lets them get away with it or sometimes they don't sometimes they don't let them get the refund sometimes they do I just had a 1950s uh, era uh, Kodak 16 millimeter sound with sound projector um, ah, you know like an old movie projector they would use in in school to show you films and and, and, it, and in theaters uh, I imagine way back when mint condition nothing wrong with this thing worked fine shipped it out to this guy in washington state he uh, s said it was missing a pressure plate and didn't work and jammed up and then so uh, you know they got 30 days to return it you know he returned it but you know then i have a couple days to inspect it see if there's anything wrong with it well it, it was so busted up it's not not even funny just the cases that you know comes in thick plywood it was broken split halfway around uh there was pieces uh from the, where you feed the film through the cap stands and uh, just snapped off crushed uh steel uh you know plates pried and pried open and dented and it was just uncalled for and ebay so far is siding with the buyer uh but i'm gonna if they don't reverse it i'm gonna file an insurance claim with the post office uh but it's 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 bad it's not just that i could go on for hours for the last six months what they've done uh these rogue buyers um anyway this is working and it's in good shape uh, just wanted that on on uh, YouTube so I could bring it up in case they destroy it send it back but like I said I haven't been having trouble really for the most part with printer buyers one in recent in the recent past but otherwise they're I, I check them really well and, uh, and, and it seems that the buyers who buy these uh, they want them. They want the model that they're shopping for. So anyway, that's all for this one.